Hi guys, welcome back to the teaching and learning. This is Abdul Kafur. I hope you are doing well. Uh, today's lesson about <clears throat> validity, liability, and objectivity and uh, precision. So I'm getting uh, messages from the teachers that uh, on these topics you have to uh, record a video or session. So I decided to go for uh, these four components. So let's have a look on it. <clears throat> So I will start from the reliability first. Okay, what is reliability? The reliability means consistency. This is a dictionary meaning. Okay, but how it works in the assessment? I'll just give you in the one or two sentences. Okay, <clears throat> when you measure the student's performance of the same age or same level. Okay, if you conduct a test of the A section and the result you get the 80% or the 50%. After some time, you start conducting the same test for the same age group or same uh, another section, which is a B, and you get the result same 50% or 80%. Okay, uh, that is what we call the reliability. So reliability means that when you repeat or conduct the same test for same age level or same level of the group, so okay, uh, group students, and you get the same result for both. Okay, that's we call the reliability simply. Okay. Now, the validity and uh, the validity measures the uh, truthfulness of them. That means to what extent test measure that what test maker intends to measure, what exactly you want to measure in the test. Okay, then. for example, uh, suppose you know uh, you are uh, conducting a test for uh, math and uh, you taught them skill one, skill two, skill three. I'm talking about, for example, the fraction. But uh, your test is consisting on about, you know, the, the uh, trigonometry and algebra, okay? So that means that test is not val valid for a certain a group because your target, what you taught them and uh, what you are aim is to measure, that's a quite uh, different, okay? So the test you have prepared, which is quite a different than, uh, what exactly you want to measure. So that is, we call the validity. If if it is the same thing you are going to measure, that is, we call the validity. If not, that means test is not valid. Okay. Uh, let's move to the uh, objectivity. Uh, objectivity, that means so uh, the errors, mainly we call the errors. Okay. For example, uh, during the test, okay, uh, when you or observing or invigilating uh, the class, okay, if somebody asks you the question and you started explaining only one student and the rest of the students and other students are going to ask the same question, but you didn't ask, uh, didn't you explain, okay. So in both cases, okay, explaining during the test, okay, that's the objectivity. If there's an error in the questions that you have a design, okay, that's again the objectivity, okay. So in simple words, I'm not going to read, it's already uh, over there. So if something is a personal bias and the test instrument, well, let me clear, test components and the instrument, that means the uh, the questions and the skills you have uh, mentioned in your uh, test, okay. Like a multiple choice, like open-ended questions, like uh, fill in the blanks matching and all these things. This is what we call the test instrument and test component. If they are bias-free, then there's a no objectivity, but if that that has an error and you're explaining and uh, we're telling them uh, to answers or something like that, and this even this was a question in uh, I, I I do remember uh, there was a one of the test okay, and even the mock test okay there was a one question about that okay. <clears throat> now uh, precision uh, the precision is actually in. In language, we call accuracy, but over here in the test, okay, there's a uh, quite a different the term, okay. So precision is that means the how close you are to the results, okay. So because we set the targets, okay, in in education in a class, okay, and uh, we quite uh, you know um, thrive and rush and uh, uh, plan uh, to achieve at the maximum these targets okay so precisation means that when you are uh, repeatedly attempting these things okay for example uh, uh, you uh, set targets for your students okay to 
get a uh, high attainment in your course okay and for that you are uh, assessing the students so in student test one students got uh, 15 in test two students got 16 in test uh, four got 17 and test uh, fifth it's got 18 that means uh, you are moving towards your target okay close to the targets okay so uh, the precisions means uh, measure how close your results are to one another and a close to measured and target okay so from this is the uh, between uh, you know the two points okay one you have already measured if suppose you know now the score of the students is at 15 and after repeating the test okay the students has improved and got 18 or 19 that is we call the uh, precision so precision will be measured over time you know, whatever the our formative assessments uh, we are repeatedly conducting the formative assessment and uh, that's we call the progress to improve the students uh, uh, performance over the uh, skills or learning outcomes okay uh, this is because precision precision requires repeatedly to determine the degree of closeness. And why you are repeating this? Okay, because you want to achieve the maximum of okay, this. So this is what exactly today's lesson uh, to make the difference between validity, reliability, objectivity, and uh, precision. I hope this will help you a lot. We'll be meeting in the next lesson. Till that, stay blessed and stay safe.